Hello and welcome to the fourth and last part of the Windows Update for Business Overview video series. This is module 4.5, Windows Insider Program for Business. Before we discuss about Windows Insider Program for Business, let's have a little bit of background of Windows Insider Program. Windows Insider Program is an online community which was created for everybody to join and to provide feedback to improve Windows. When you join this community, you will get early access to pre-release versions of Windows so that you can provide that feedback and helping shaping the future of Windows. When you become a Windows Insider, you can start installing what are called Insider Preview Builds on your Windows 10 devices. With Windows 10, new features will be delivered to the Windows Insider community during the development cycle through a process that is called flighting. As mentioned in the first module, in Windows Insider, we have different channels that you can pick from when configuring a Windows Update for Business ring. Channels uh, are how we release uh, Insider Preview Builds, and each channel is designed to bring a different experience. And this experience is based on the quality of the Windows build. We have three channels in Windows Insider. We have a dev channel, a beta channel, and a release preview channel. When choosing a channel, you should keep in mind how stable you need your devices to be and what level of issues you can handle on your device. How early in the development you would like to see features and changes, and if you require the build that you're using to be considered supported by Microsoft. Now, looking at each individual of these uh, channels, the dev channel is uh, good for highly technical users that like to experience uh, those uh, new features that, that maybe show up in a future Windows 10 release. Keep in mind that the devices that are targeted with this channel will receive frequent updates, so it may not be ideal to use these type of devices as your primary machine. The beta channel is good for early adopters and more tech-savvy people that like to see and validate what's coming next in Windows. These builds are more stable than the dev channel, and as part of the beta channel, you will be seeing builds that are already tied to an upcoming release of Windows, for example, 21H1. In the release preview channel, you will get the latest version of Windows 10 that is already available to everyone with advanced quality updates and certain key features that have not made it to GA yet. These builds will be fully supported by Microsoft. The Windows Insider Program channels were recently rebranded to provide better alignment with other Microsoft products, for example, with Edge and Office. Now that we discussed about Windows Insider Program and its channels, let's discuss about Windows Insider Program for Business. Windows Insider Program for Business is a set of features within the Windows Insider Program, and these features help you running Windows Insider builds within your organization. One of the benefits of joining the Windows Insider Program for Business is that you can validate your applications and your devices adopting early releases of Windows across multiple devices. Once registered, the users in your organization will automatically get access to Windows Insider. To register your organization, you can follow the link provided in uh, this uh, uh, slide, and you will be required to sign in as a global administrator. One thing to note is that uh, for the clients that you plan to onboard in the Windows Insider program, they will uh, require telemetry to be turned on with the value of full. So the question at this point may be how many deployment rings do we need uh, in the organization? Just a, a refresher, a deployment ring are groups of devices that allows us to designate how frequently devices are getting updated. So you can use uh, these deployment rings to segment your devices so that you can initially pilot a Windows build, uh, broaden up to more devices and eventually make it to your production environment. We generally recommend for every organization to have a few devices in uh, the insider program channels. For example, uh, you may have uh, a few devices uh, that you may want to target with the dev channel. These devices uh, may be just uh, used by IT or developers to test uh, some upcoming functionalities of Windows. If you plan to broaden it up with uh, uh, more devices, uh, think about uh, these devices are used by more tech-savvy people, early adopters or volunteers that provide feedback to the IT staff 
on how their devices are behaving. Potentially, you can target these devices with either the beta or release preview channels. Once you fully validate the Windows build and it made it to GA, then you can go in production. And for production, we recommend using semi-annual channels. So now it's time to go in our last demo. In this demo, we will register our tenant in the Windows Insider Program for Business, and then we will configure a Windows Update for Business ring, targeting our devices with the beta channel. We will also have to ensure that telemetry is enabled with the value of full. We will conclude this demo by verifying that our devices get the latest Windows 10 beta build, which as of today is a Windows 10 21H1. We're back in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. I'm gonna select Devices, Windows 10 Update Rings. And here I will create a new ring using the Windows Insider channel. I give it a name. Next. Now, when we select a service in channel, the Windows Insider channel names in the Windows Update for Business ring have not been rebranded yet. The Windows Insider Fast maps to the dev channel, the Windows Insider Slow maps to the beta channel, and then the release preview has not been rebranded. So I'm gonna select the Slow in this case. I still keep the Microsoft product updates, Windows drivers, everything as a default. I will select a deferral for both the quality and features as zero, but potentially I could have some deferrals also here. And uh, uh, for simplicity, I do reset to default as we discussed earlier. I keep everything um, as simple as possible, but I could potentially configure this ring to map exactly what I have in my production ring. So next, scope tags next. And uh, I add a group of uh, devices. Uh, in this case, uh, I already pre-created a security group for my beta devices. Select next and create. Next, I have to ensure that the devices targeted with the Windows Insider channels have telemetry turned on with the, a value of full. I already have a policy in place for telemetry. I'm gonna tweak that existing policy. So I go under Windows, Configuration Profiles. This is the same policy that we configured in the previous module. I go under Properties, Edit, and under Reporting and Telemetry, instead of Basic, I'm gonna select full. Save. The last thing I need to do now is to onboard the tenant in the Windows Insider program. So I'm gonna use the link that I provided during the presentation. So I select flight. Here we need to register with an Azure Active Directory work account, and then we can onboard the tenant. So I'm gonna proceed with the registration. I sign in. I will accept uh, the terms uh, of the agreement and register now. Now I'm prompted to flight now and I select that. And now we're brought to the start flighting tab. If we scroll down, we have the possibility to manage across your organization. So we select uh, that and uh, here we have the possibility to register an entire domain. In my case, uh, once I register, since I was already signed in with the, a global administrator, it notifies me that the, the domain or the tenant is already onboarded. So now my devices will start receiving the Windows Insider builds. Let's now sign in on one of the devices that is targeted with the Insider beta channel. I'm gonna sign in with the local administrator because I want to show you what is available uh, in the settings menu when uh, we are in Windows Insider. Let's uh, first uh, check the current version of Windows that is installed. I'm gonna run WinBer. As you can see, we have a Windows version 20 H2. So I'm gonna open the settings menu now the settings app. And if we select update and security, we have an entry here called the Windows Insider program. If we select it, you will see that this machine already received the policy from Intune and is targeted with the, the beta channel. From here, you can also see that the user that is currently signed in uh, is automatically 
uh, getting single sign on to the Windows Insider so that we can uh, submit feedback. So from here, I can select uh, Windows Update. And uh, excellent, the device is already uh, receiving a Windows 10 version 21H1. So now it's a matter of waiting for this feature update to be installed, the device to reboot, and then uh, we can start using the next uh, Windows version. All right, Windows 10 version 21H1 is now installed. I'm gonna restart the device right away. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna sign in with the standard user account. So I will demonstrate that the access to the Windows Insider program is not available with the, the standard user account. And I will also confirm that the next feature update is installed. Now I sign in with the standard user account. I verify that uh, I received the Windows 10 21 H1. And indeed, it's Windows 10 21 H1. And uh, I will also open settings to demonstrate that as a standard user, I don't have access uh, to uh, the Insider tab. So within uh, a relatively short uh, time frame, we uh, onboarded our tenant in uh, Windows Insider program for business and uh, we deployed uh, Windows uh, uh, 10 21 H1, which is in the beta channel at the time of this uh, recording uh, across multiple devices so that uh, our end users can start providing feedback to the IT pros. This is uh, the end of module 4.5, Windows Insider program for business. And it's also the last part of uh, the Windows Update for Business video series. To recap, uh, in the first uh, part, uh, we provided an overview of uh, Windows Update for Business. In uh, the second part, uh, we covered advanced topics about uh, the Windows Update client. And in the third part, uh, we provided recommendations for devices in education environments. In uh, this uh, last part, we looked at uh, the Windows Insider program for business and how to onboard to the service. Here are some additional links that you can find in the video description below, which further expands on the topics that we covered in this video series.